broadcast weekly over this station are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who make their weekends more enjoyable reading the world's greatest comic and adventure pictures by the world's best artists featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly. Insist on the Sunday newspaper that brings you the Comic Weekly. The time for the human sacrifice to the horrible moon god fast approaches. As the day wears on into evening, the tempo of the drums becomes wilder and more abandoned. The natives go mad with fanatical ecstasy. In his cell, young Stacy finds it necessary to use all his willpower to maintain his sanity in the midst of the maddening din. He almost breaks when one of the natives tells him that there is going to be a human sacrifice, a white sacrifice to the moon god. In a nearby cabin, his young wife, held fast in the strange trance, sways to the savage rhythm of the drums, while Shanghai Lil struggles desperately to bring her out of her mad spell. Then, as the full moon rises, the high priest makes his appearance dressed in his weird, terrifying ceremonial costume and screams an hysterical command, a signal for the procession of the human sacrifice to begin. Shanghai Lil and Stacy, their arms bound securely, are led out. But Stacy's wife is allowed to walk free and unhampered among the natives as the procession heads its way toward the jungle. Well, here we go, Stacy. Let's hold our heads up and keep our chins out. We've got to show these natives we're not afraid. I'm all right now, Mr. Brill. I don't care about myself. All I can think about is my wife out there mingling with those savages. If only she could be spared. Remember the old saying, Stacy. It's always darkest just before dawn. And while it looks pretty hopeless now, there's always a chance. I thought we might have some sign from Jungle Jim before now. For a while, when those black arrows were killing off the guards, I had high hope that Jim would break through, but... Three nights now since the attack stopped. Looks as though something has happened to Jim. Yes. It was a poor gamble from the beginning. Jim, alone against that tribe of howling savages. But I still cling to the faint hope that he's still alive and close by to help us when the opportune time comes. If only I knew what they were going to do with my wife. If they're going to kill her, I hope it's done quick. She won't feel anything. The poor thing is numb to everything but the mad noise of those drums. She's completely under their spell, and in her own mad way, she's actually enjoying this. It's awful, but it's merciful that she is in that state. It at least bears her the terrible realization of what's to come. Well, there's one consolation in this whole thing for me. Knowing that I've got to go, I'm, I'm glad we're all able to go together. You've certainly done wonders for me, Lil. I don't think I could ever face this with such calm resignation if you weren't here. You're a brave woman, Mr. Brill. No, not brave, just foolhardy, that's all. I had a chance to live a normal woman's life, a home, marriage, a husband, children, and all that goes with it. But no, I want adventure, travel, danger, something doing all the time. Well, I have it. Plenty of it. And I've enjoyed it. When you've flirted with death as often as I have, it's only natural that sooner or later you get caught and have to pay for your fun. I guess it's time now for me to pay. And if so, I'm ready. That's a great way to look at it. I guess if I'd led that kind of life, I'd... Well, I might feel the same way. But I've just struggled along, just getting by, and... Just when life seemed to hold something for me, all this happened. I don't mind losing everything, but, well, you see, I ruined Helen's life, too. Well, we're coming to the ceremonial grounds, I guess. Look at that clearing up ahead with that big, ugly idol in the middle of it. Yes. Yes, this is the place, all right. What a ghastly sight that horrible-looking idol makes. The moon, the full moon shining on it. There goes the high priest taking his place up on the altar. 
The natives are all bowing and taking their places. There's that old witch, Nala, leading your wife. I guess we get a place of honor beside the altar. Yes, yes. Putting our guards up there beside old Nala and my wife. Here comes that lecherous looking rat that captured me. Dad! Dad! My kitty! Why back! My man, too! You come here! Stay in this place! This! I priest! Ready for you now! I priest! Say you right now! For moon god! Time come! For you! Now! While all this activity has been taking place, Jungle Jim and Kolo have been making last-minute preparations in their carefully concealed hideout in the jungle. Just before the procession left the village, Jungle Jim and Kolo stand at the base of a huge tree. Oh, this is a perfect spot, Kolo. Uh, this tree couldn't be better. Up there, where that other tree trunk has fallen across this one, you get a firm footing. All that foliage gives you perfect protection. And look down at altar in front of Idol Tuan. Get good view of everything. Right. There's not a thing in your way. You can get a perfect shot at anyone moving in front of the idol. But remember, Cole, hold off until the last minute. If you're over-anxious and let go of those arrows before anyone is in any real danger, why, it'll ruin everything. I be very careful, Tuan. Kolo got to save Missy Stacy and Missy Lil. And this full moon is going to be a great help, Kolo. Look out there in the clearing. Why, the moonlight makes it as bright as day. Mm. Listen, Tuan. Hmm? That be drums. Right. Natives coming now, Tuan. Listen, Kolo. Climb up in your position and see if you can see them. When they get close enough, see if you can make out whether Lil, Stacy, and his wife are all in the procession. Yeah. Now listen, Kolo. Yeah. I'll give you an idea. You keep watch up here until they get fairly close. Then if you see all three of them, just drop one arrow. Be good, Tuan. I go up now. Watch for natives. You wait for signal. That's it, Kolo. I'll still have plenty of time to get to my position. The natives will be so worked up by the time they get here, they won't even watch anything but the high priest up on that altar. Okay, Kolo. Up you go now. There. I'll wait here for the signal. The arrow. That's the sign. So they're bringing all three for the sacrifice. Well, now to get ready for the little surprise party, and I hope it works. as if one of us is going to be the next choice. High Priest is waving that ugly-looking knife around in the air. Mm. Now he's holding the knife up straight. Look, Mr. Brill, 
It's pointing toward you. God's mighty one has spoken again. He has selected the white woman. Go, my son, and bring her forth that I may draw the blood for the sacrifice. Well, it's apparently my turn. I hope the mighty one doesn't like me. I don't like the look of that ugly knife. Come. Come, let me see. He likes you. He wants you now. The Holy One calls. Accept the humble offering of the faithful, O Holy One. Give your servant the sign. Take the white one to your bosom. Give us the sign, O Mighty One. See, my children, the Mighty One has given us the sign. Bring forth that white one. She shall be sacrificed. With her head erect, Lil Onaded walks fearlessly forward to the altar where the evil-looking high priest stands waiting with the long sacrificial knife held menacingly in his hand. But high in a treetop, Kolo carefully selects a long black arrow and fits it to his strong, stout bowstring. Don't miss the next exciting episode in the adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of Cartoon Land, like the list of all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follow the fun and frolics of Jiggs and Maggie, Blondie, Tilly the Toiler, Barney Google, and the Little King, the impish antics of Skippy, the Katzenjammer kids, the immortal Donald Duck, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. And look for the new adventure and comic strip entitled The Phantom, now being featured in full color in the Comic Weekly. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who every week Find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at the same time next week over the same station. Be sure to tune in. Tune in.